jacket. Uh, so what are we really, doing? Really heavy shoes, gloves, hat, whatever. But we're out here in Chicago in Orland Park, Illinois at the uh, Pro Media Gear Warehouse. And uh, we're having this great freeze. Uh, it's negative 20 here without wind chill, uh, Fahrenheit. I have no idea really what that is Hold Celsius, on. but it's nonetheless. Hold on, Tony. <coughs> Cold. Killing my net my network's messing up on Come Instagram. Come on, tech guy. Yeah, sorry. Just shut the go yeah. off. All right, so we're, uh, we're live. Are we live on Instagram? Hello. Yeah, we should be live. So nonetheless, we're um, all freezing here, I guess. This is just warm water, keeping me warm. But we're here. We just wanted to kind of take a few minutes of uh, everybody's time. Hopefully, a lot of you guys have days off today because it's nice and cold, or at least are uh, staying warm. Nonetheless, uh, we're here. It's uh, the frigid tundra, and uh, Tom, you got a piece of stuff in the lens here. There you oh. go. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, We're wrapping up the camera. Vignetting. We kind of got the camera wrapped with the scarf there, which I could use, actually. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to showcase the uh, Pro Media Gear gimbal, the Katana Junior. And just everybody asks us all the time, like, based on a fluid head, like, this one's on ball bearings. Does it freeze in cold weather? I don't trust you. I've seen people put it in the freezer and use it as, like, a test, but it's not a, a real test in the, you know, in the wild, per se. So we just wanted to come outside today, take a few minutes, kind of showcase what's happening. Tom, your scarf's all over that lens, man. Still, it's um, not really But showing. this is just no, warm water to prove how cold it is. <coughs> now I'm out of water, which kind of stinks, but I'll get more in a minute. Um, as you can see here, I've got the, the juniors blowing in the wind. Uh, so pretty cool. Once, uh, once you get it balanced up, which we've had other videos before, you know, you can just take this thing and spin it. It's not going anywhere. So you've got the opportunity in cold weather. Go ahead, loosen it up here on the tilt knob, tighten it up to fit your shooting style. Go ahead and do whatever you want. So what's the temperature, Tony? Right now, like I said, it's negative 20. It's like, what, negative 30 or something silly with wind chill. Um, it's been sitting out here for over an hour. We did have the camera inside, not to freak anybody out, but we have left the gimbal outside as well. Um, and the tripod here just to like prove a point and make sure everybody can see that it's it's spinning freely I'm using one finger. It's not like uh, I'm struggling to move this thing or anything like that You do still have the resistance To like lock it down if you want um, it's a Pretty definitive test if you ask me um, you could easily sit out here if there were eagles out today Go ahead and set it to my shooting style preference shoot some birds in the trees Go ahead and get some coffee. Continue to shoot the rest of the day if I'm interested. Hopefully I've got a blind or a space heater or at least some hand warmers or something. Uh, maybe yeah, you live bad. in Florida. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I think so I guess the question is, Tony, so what's the challenge? Why is our gimbal better in the cold weather? What happens to... The gimbal, uh, what really puts the performance standards to the test is a lot of gimbals in the market are fluid based, which is like a jelly or a Vaseline or a grease that's packed in. Um, with a little bit of resistance on there with like a, a pin that's pressing against the metal. And you're using the fluid or the jelly to, to create a lubrication. Um, that jelly freezes in extreme temperatures and uh, has the tendency of just literally like gumming up. And it makes it really hard to, to go ahead and move and maneuver that um, ball head or gimbal head smoothly. Um, ours is running on a sealed ball bearing with a big collar around it clamping down on the entire bearing. So what you're doing is physically squeezing a little collar just around a bearing like a ball bearing set of ball bearings inside a little shield so by doing that i'm able to go ahead and like have really nothing lubricated internally to freeze up are the bearings really cold right now yes um but there's no jelly or grease packed inside them that, that could freeze and potentially uh you know not allow me to enjoy this awesome frigid experience um <laughs> Just for future yeah. reference, it's actually warmer in Antarctica today, so that's exciting. And uh, I do know it's a lot colder the farther north you get. So everybody up there in Minnesota and Canada, I get it. It's cold. <laughs> Any uh, questions coming through? Somebody yeah. want to see something or ask anything? How many more minutes can you stand here, Tony? I could stand here. I mean, <laughs> a few more. This minutes. isn't the polar plunge. Yeah. We should maybe start the car and see how bad the car is. Yeah, my car hated my life this morning, but uh, other than the power steering pump being extremely difficult to turn, yeah. uh, we made it. Inside, it's 72 and fluorescent, so no real complaints there. Um, I don't see any other questions. Seems like definitely make sure you have safety kits in your car. I've got my camera. Uh, 
couple duffel bags. I've also got uh, an extra jacket, snow pants. Um, that's it. Stay on major roads and highways. Uh, drive safe, be careful. Enjoy this once in a lifetime, hopefully, experience of frigid temperatures. And uh, we look forward to introducing many of you to the gimbal. We know it's eagle season. It's starting to almost be spring and for other migration patterns in other areas of the United States and all across the world. So if you're looking for a good gimbal, look no farther than the Katana Junior. It's made out of uh, anodized aluminum. It's aircraft grade quality stuff, made in the United States, super strong. Right now I've got it supported with a 500 millimeter F4 Canon lens. It'll easily support the weight of that on our 34 millimeter tripod. Um, it's just a great combination. The 34 millimeter tripod here is four sections. We have we have one that goes up to 71 inches tall. That's really popular. The 344L. Um, this gives you a lot of opportunity to be under it, shooting birds or anything, uh, aviation stuff like that, stars, and still being able to put it down. One leg section get you down to that landscape love level of about 55 to 58 inches, and uh, easily shoot that by just putting one leg up. Um, the bottom of our gimbal has a 3816 threaded adapter. Mounts to any tripod, it's not biased. Look at that, the wind is blowing that thing over. That's crazy, that's how <laughs> that's how soft you can have this thing where the wind is actually starting to blow yeah, here. Tie it down a and I gotta tie it down a little bit and make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but the wind really sucks. The wind, the wind and the wind chill is a real thing and that's, oh, uh, yeah. that's worse than the cold. Yeah, the Cold's cold. actually not that bad. You kinda can deal with it, but the uh, this whole wind chill stuff, it's making me, uh, Think more and more about moving to Florida. <laughs> yeah, you got a like, like frozen boogers. Yeah, yeah, Damn it! Froze. <laughs> I guess just for breathing, like the moisture. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so this is the chi a, Chiberia, right? Yeah, yeah, Chiberia or whatever Chiberia. it's called. Whatever. It's cold. So stay safe out there. Continue to check out our website, promedegear.com. Please shoot us an email or a, a like or a question through our social media channels or even just on our website. Uh, we look forward to talking to you more and. Uh, Stay warm. Happy shooting. See you guys soon. I'm Tony from Pro Media Gear. See you later.